just thought I'd um, uh, bring you up to date with my progress with my leg. Um, two weeks um, in, had my up two weeks ago. Um, we, um, I had to go back to hospital last Wednesday um, so um, they could clean the wounds, uh, redress them, uh, let the consultant see how um, it was going. And then to start the second phase of the treatment, um, which was uh, starting the turning of the um, uh, the struts uh, daily. I was told originally it was going to be seven to ten days, um, but it's actually a three week program. Um, and they said they can do it slower if it's if it's too painful. Um, we could do it slower, um, but I said no. Let's just let's just go for it. I want to get it sorted. So on Wednesday. Um, uh, they gave me the prescription, which is um, this, and it's a, um, I've got the six struts colour coded, and then each day, uh, the number on the dial, they have to be turned to a certain number on the dial, um, on each strut, um, uh, for three weeks, until they reach the final position. Uh, so what they did is... Um, Two well, had the surgery two days after I had the surgery. I had the initial uh, setting of the struts on the frame. Um, what that did was they cut the bones when they did surgery, and then two days later they set the struts so the bones were, were were making contact again. So the bones actually realised, oh, we're broken. We need to start getting making new bone tissue. Then when I went back last Wednesday, which was a week later, um, uh, my my consultant, um, he actually reset the struts to another position where they pulled the bones apart again. Um, so the bones have like made the connection, know they've got to start growing new bone, but he then pulled them apart again. So over the next three weeks, they can manipulate the bones to be in the correct position they need to be in to uh, to start the bone growth. So that was all good um started that on wednesday it was a little bit uncomfortable but stinging more at the front of my leg where the big pin is in in the tibia that really was stinging but nothing you, you know you couldn't deal with um uh but then we found that when we came home when i came home wednesday night from hospital we were looking at the the, the prescription and noticed that on two of the struts the number range wasn't there so like we had to we were meant to put like one of the struts from like 123 mil to 125 mil um but that strut ended at 124 mil so i rang the hospital thursday morning um i had to go back in on friday and see my consultant who changed the struts and said it's fine um you know that was fine it's not a problem but he then did the turn in for that day and I have to be honest and say it was so painful. Oh my goodness. Um, I know different people have different levels of pain threshold, but my leg was just throbbing and it was difficult to put any pressure on it. It was it was incredibly painful. And I don't moan about pain, well I do a bit actually sometimes, but not like this. And I was, you know, I just felt so down. I really felt sorry for myself. It was like, oh poor me, I'm in lot of pain. But they said to me, take your cocodamol, take your prescription medication four times a day, just take it, don't suffer because, you know, if you need it, it's not going to be an easy ride, you know, you are going to feel pain with this, but nothing, nothing like you thought it would be sort of thing, so, um, so that was that, and then on Saturday, um, so that was fine, uh, just struggled with it, and then Saturday, um, I was going out for the first time to my niece's um, afternoon in the garden and um, I stood up on my crutches being a bit cocky and fell backwards which landed on my coffee table luckily my leg was okay but then I lost all confidence on crutches so I'm back on a frame when I'm, when I'm on my own at home um, I'm back using a frame but um, I know I am going to have to start going out um, on crutches more um, but yeah it, it's not too bad uh, but since then, you know, the turn of the struts between my partner and my daughter, they've been doing it. And it's not too bad, actually. You know, I'm, I'm taking Cocoda more twice, uh, four times a day. And it is okay. It is, it is manageable. Um, I'm feeling a bit more positive because it doesn't hurt every day when the struts are turned. Um, 
and there's no major major alterations to be done so i think anything that happens will be minor minor discomfort or medium discomfort rather than a lot of pain and it's really funny because the pain i'm getting is literally right in the front of the shin it's, and it's not like a it was a throbbing pain to start with but then it turns into a stinging a really bad stinging um but then it eases off you know um night time is most uncomfortable um you know i'm up and down up and down up and down my foot my foot does swell up if i'm on it for too long um that swells up quite a lot so i am having to uh literally raise it up a lot to just sit around with it raised in the air a lot um, I am going to venture out um, to the shops tomorrow after I've been to the hospital. I'm going to go and do a bit of shopping and see how I get on. And just generally start trying to build my confidence up. Um, because they've told me once the three-week uh, prescription has been done, they will be expecting me to start putting full weight on my on my limb then. Um, I was in contact with my physiotherapist uh, yesterday. She's given me some great exercises. I'm not seeing her till 21st of july um which is like two weeks from now um she's given me some great exercises to do sitting down for upper body as well as lower body um and so i'm just going to crack on with that and um and and see how i get on um so all in all feeling quite positive about everything um you know the leg looks no different really let me show you it doesn't really look any different um it's still there still in its in its little cage um it's not nowhere near as swollen everybody seems quite happy with it that it's not as swollen as they thought it would be um but then i am doing lots of resting that the, the foot and the ankle is what where it swells the most um but yeah not too bad the dressings um the hospital are going to change my dressings again tomorrow um they, when they did them last week, they said it all looks really good, um, really clean, uh, no infection yet, fingers crossed. Um, so, yeah, it's all feeling quite positive today, but who knows what will happen. Um, uh, because they have told me I've got a minor deformity. <laughs> it's nowhere near as bad as some. And I was thinking, oh, my God, if this is, you know, if this is minor, I'd hate to have major problems. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, so, yeah, that's an update. Um uh, I will probably do another video next week um, and let you know how I'm getting on if you're interested. If anybody's got any questions or, you know, about my experience or wants to know any more, you know, just pop a question below and I will do my best to answer it. Okay, then. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye.